When it comes to fans, we had so many different manufacturers here on the channel, but one which wasn't present even once until now is Thermaltake. So let's change that. This is the Thermaltake Tough Fan 12 Pro. And unlike their Tough Air Cooler, where the only thing tough about it was the installation, well, this one is actually tough, because this one is made out of liquid crystal polymer. Similarly to other high-end fans like the Noctua NFA12, T30, Bitphoenix Griffin, and so on, Similarly to those, Thermaltake made the Impella out of LCP or liquid crystal polymer. Now we could talk for an hour about what that brings to the table, but to cut it short, it's stronger, a lot stronger, so it's less likely to vibrate, it can withstand crazy speeds without the fan blades bending or like straightening up and, and touching the outer border, and because of that, the distance in between the fan blade tip and the outer frame can be brought down to a minimum. On the other hand, the downside is cost. LCP is much more expensive to work with compared to your usual Coca-Cola bottle. And I will assume that the fan is great and it can compete with the other very best fans out there. But before we get to that, let's talk about the fan itself. There are two different fans in Thermaltake's tough fan lineup, the regular 12 and the 12 Pro. And those are very, very different. So keep in mind that this video here will be solely focusing on the 12 Pro. And from there we basically got a single and a double pack, each containing the appropriate amount of fans, 1500 RPM limiters and the installation screws for both cases and radiators. Spinning at max speed, we are looking at a 2000 RPM fan pushing 70.8 CFM at up to 3.19 mm of H2O. So just on raw stats, we are actually looking at a much more aggressive version of a Noxia NFA12. On every stat, it is more on everyone except for noise. On paper, the Tough Fan 12 Pro is supposed to push more in every use case, but while being similarly loud. Gonna be interesting to see how that one plays out. Producing this power, we got a 9-blade design with quite wide and slightly bent wings, kind of similar to a A12, but slightly less aggressive tips, while the blades seem to be a lot wider. And because it's an LCP fan, we got the absolutely mandatory central shaft section, which is visible, of course including the also mandatory Thermaltake logo on a black piece spinning around it. Like that alone removes 4 degrees from your CPU. The frame is also quite well built. It's a completely square design with rounded off corners. There aren't any sorts of indentations or anything that could allow air to be leaking back. And the same applies to these holes. They are towards the end. So this is purely a design aspect and may or may not contribute to like strengthening the whole structure, but it's not leaking any air back. And to finish it off, we got rubberized corners on every side for that additional vibration absorption. Overall, well built, and the only thing that seems kinda odd to me is the cable overall. It's long, like really, really long, like a meter long, and at the end we got that PWM plug, which is really fine, but it's not sleeved or braided or anything else, which is kind of odd for like a high, high end, high quality fan, but I mean, you got a meter of PVM cable, so hey. For the rest, we got some more of that PR talk, like a second gen hydraulic bearing featuring a new shaft design, which, okay, yes, it is in fact spinning incredibly smooth, like a Nokia A12 level of smooth, and a improved structure for superior performance. Which we would just verify right now. We tested the Thermaltake Tough Fan 12 Pro in our case fan simulator, which measures the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noxia P1 in a wooden box where two fans recycle the air within it. Letting it spin at its max 2000 RPM allowed the CPU to be cooled down to 43.5 degrees C above ambient, which is a good result. It's slightly in front of a NFA12 and at the very edge of, like, let's say, normal fast spinning fans. But the thing about these LCP fans, or like that type of high-end fan, is they need to have an excellent noise-to-performance ratio. So we gradually declined the fan speed in 10% step and we wrote down the noise and temperature to create a curve. And in that category, the tough fan made it really tough. Oh, I'm so ashamed. At the end, it was roughly performing like a Unifan P28, if you were to make that one spin a bit slower, and once you turn down the fan speed, it actually becomes a lot quieter from 80 to 70%, where it then overtakes that 
minimal amount where the NFA12 was in front. And going down from there, the tough fan actually keeps one of the best ratios I have seen so far whilst battling with the P28 for the first spot. So actually, an excellent case fan. Sure, it doesn't have that high-end performance with, like for example, a P28, a Cyan Ring 4 Pro, Fan XT30, you know, you don't have that, that burst performance but for a case, nobody needs 3000 RPM intake fans. Even in like high performance build, they are going to spin a lot, a lot, lot slower. And in that category, the Tough Fan Pro seems to be slightly better than both a P28 and Noxia A12. So for cases, excellent. But what about radiators? For these cases, we strapped a Tough Fan 12 Pro to a 10 FPI 80 mm thick radiator and measured the water temperature above ambient. And at 11.1 degrees C above ambient, the 12 Pro managed to keep that middle ground, outperforming the A12X25 by a margin, but still below those way too fast, way too loud fans. But the noise to performance ratio on radiators does look slightly different. It is still exceptionally good outperforming a Silent Wing Pro 4 from like start to finish, but the Pro 12 is now on the other side of the Noctua A12. It seems like adding the radiator has more of a negative effect on the on like the thermal takes attempt of making a high-end fan than on Noctua's. Compared to the Lian Lee P28, it is pretty much the same thing from start to finish, getting into arguments who should take the spot. Interesting here, however, the tough fan falls to noise floor interestingly early, at 70% to be exact, giving it one measuring point where it in fact is capable of kicking everybody's butt. Even if I started off the, the benchmark session for these Tough Fan 12 Pros with a very sour taste in my mouth because of the toughest air cooler ever, I completely switched lanes with these Tough Fan 12 Pros. This is an amazing fan for case usage, very very good, like very very good, on reds, slightly behind the A12. Still very good, but like not as good. Now, important to keep in mind here is that the fan doesn't have like a huge forcing potential, but it really wasn't meant to have that. At 2000 RPM, the goal of a fan like this is to get that perfect middle ground in between performance and noise. And in my opinion, Thermaltake did a really good job here. Perfect for cases and still competing with the very best on reds. And for the price, it's an LCP fan and it's not going to be affordable. But uh, interestingly enough, much more affordable than I expected. I can get a single one right now and here for about 22 euros or 18 if I take them in a double pack. So yes, it is not especially affordable, but compared to the 30 euros of a Noxia fan, it is, it is really okay, especially because this just dominated cases. So great job Thermaltake and definitely a recommendation on my end. But okay, this should be all for Thermaltake and their Tough Fan 12 Pro. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance, except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to investigate what is up with the tough branding. The tough air is tough to install and tough to use at all. The tough fans are tough to beat, like thermal take, just, just get your shit straight. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.